Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. In this very special tutorial, we are going to be taking a first look at Substance Painter. Mm -hmm. This has been uh, probably our most requested software ever to actually look into. Yeah. So uh, we are going to now do that. The first sub subject we're going to be covering as for Flip Normals is going to be uh, using anchor points. Which I guess is not our most heavily requested feature <laughs> in Substance, <laughs> but very, very useful. Yeah, it is. It's it's one of these features which is incredibly handy, but can be quite confusing to actually wrap your head around. I find the implementation of it in Painter to be a bit, honestly, a bit confusing. Mm. And I know other people have this issue as well. So let's just go through with this and we'll show you what anchors actually are as we do this. What problem is trying to solve. So let's make a new layer and let's put in some, uh, some, some normal map information in this. Let's actually pick one which is a bit more prominent. So we have something here which is pretty, it's pretty cool. You can just really quickly just drag and drop these, um, these maps into your brush just to very quickly just get these awesome little vents. And this is this is quite good, but what we need to do is to get this material up and working, we need to get the rust uh, the rust masking around these areas as well. Cause yeah, because right now we have a mask with a curvature on it that sort of applies the paint or chips off the paint or I guess reverse here yeah. because we have we have primarily rust then we have paint on the on the edges. So we want to replicate that where we have normal map information now. So what we could do, it's very quick, very easily just add a paint one and you can just simply just paint around where you want to be. This is terrible. And not very procedural. <laughs> not very procedural and time consuming. So we are going to do this in a procedural manner. So we are going to be first we're just renaming this layer to uh, uh, something like bolts. And then this is where anchor points come into play. Under the effects one here, we can add an anchor point. Just add an anchor point and we can call this, we can rename this to bolts normal. The name isn't terribly important if, we, if we're just running a very simple scene like this. Yeah. But the complexity here can increase significantly. Yeah, and if you have multiple anchor points, it's nice to just keep them named yeah. because that makes it a lot easier to find. Yeah, as like I said, I find this system to be honestly quite confusing. So yeah. the easier you can make this for yourself, the better it is. Now we go under the masking here. We go into the generator. For this one, we just done a very quick uh, metal edge wear for this. And uh, the way we do this is uh, enable it, is we go under the, the micro normal if you use height, you will go under micro height. It, it's exactly the same system, whether you're using normal mapping or using height mapping. So since we use normal, we just click on normal and we now select anchor points and we just set the one we had. Again, why it's important to name it because this is going to get quite complicated as we go along. Yeah. And now we go under reference channel and we just got to set this here to normal. And again, nothing is going to happen because we haven't really activated it yet. We just set it where, sh where should it source the data from. Where we activate it is under micro details, again, under the generator. Everything happens under the generator. And this is where we have to go under micro details and enable micro height. And now we should start to see something popping up. Oh, sorry, micro height, micro normal, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> exact, do the exact opposite of what you just said. <laughs> Height is if you have a height map, and normal is if you have a normal map. Yeah. So this is this is really cool because now you can start to uh, change the curvature intensity, AO intensity, and this 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 is data it gets from the normal map we just painted. Yeah, and then everything lives under our mask. We don't have to create a different kind of procedural for uh, just our normal map information, and we can keep everything nice and sort of kind of clean. So really, really useful stuff. You can also change the curvature type just to get a different different algorithm for it. And you can combine this with height mapping as well. So now we have just gone from manually painting this to doing this in a procedural manner. So we can also, we can just go in here and now we can just add more, more of these bolts and you get this really cool breakup. And, you get from this. and one important note is that the uh, anchor point layer, the layer that we have here with the anchor point, has to be below our, our masking layer. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, the normal map information is going to be retained, but it's not going to link up correctly. Yeah. 
So that's also why we're using such a simple scene here with two layers, because <laughs> this here gets very complicated. If yeah. you if we're doing a lot of this, I, I like to call this extra modeling, because basically that's kind of what it is. Yeah. You're just using normal map information or model. This is most likely generated from 3D models. So if you're doing that, it might be a good idea just to put those all on the bottom, just so you, you know for a fact that they are going to transfer correctly over. And these being normal maps or normal map information on, on the surface, they don't actually deform the surface. No. That's why the mask with the curvature on it doesn't actually pick it up. So anchor points is a way to, to solve that problem. We'll probably make more advanced tutorials on anchor points in the future. Mm. This is just a very quick way to use them with normal maps. So now that we're starting with more um, painter tutorials, we're very much open to suggestions yep. for what you guys want to see. We're working on a, an elaborate introduction to painter which is going to be out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> in the future. In the future. So very much open to suggestions for what you guys want to see for YouTube or more premium tutorials. Yeah. So if you want to see more videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that little bell button as well if you want to get notifications for our videos. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.